here in Titaki's winery and we're about to taste one, two, three, four, five different wines. Let's see what happens because this is going to be my first blind tasting from Titaki's winery. Join us today as we visit the Titakis Winery. With a history and tradition in wine production dating back to the late 1950s, the Titakis family is a family of winemakers, now in its third generation, and remains faithful and dedicated to the magical process of wine production. We met with Maria Titaki, the enologist of the winery, who gave us a tour and poured some wine for us. So here we are at Titaki's winery and we're about to taste for the first time blind tasting their wines. Their wines are usually blends and it's only one that is going to be a single variety. It's up to me to find out which one. Let's see what happens. Very aromatic, very fruity, mm. very nice acidity. Θέλουμε ένα πτυελοδοχείο γιατί αν τα πιω όλα αυτά και μια βουλίτσα να είναι από το καθένα θα αρχίζω να τραγουδάω και τίποτα άλλο και δεν ξέρω μετά θα μείνετε εσείς θα μείνω εγώ να τραγουδάω I've tried so many uh, international varieties that I don't really know the indigenous varieties of Crete and I'm a complete wine virgin when it comes to Crete. <laughs> this must be a blend of Vilana and of, um, she, she said something about this beforehand. I think it's, uh, this is a blend of Vilana and something, Vilana, uh, grape variety and something else, but we'll see. Mm, mm, mm. First red. Oh. Oh. I can smell all the uh, herbs of the area here in Crete. Lots of oregano and um, sage. Some licorice too. I am. I feel this is a high alcohol wine, but let's taste it. nice balance, acidity and tannins, really round wine. I definitely want to see this wine with uh, some lamb and maybe a little bit of uh, yellow cheese. Uh, but this is time where I have to pick my two favorite wines um, and I have to go with the first one. Very aromatic, very sexy wine and the red one, the last one, which is very mysterious. I have no idea what I'm drinking. I'm gonna guess Madilari, Kotsifali. So let's do the reveal. Are you guys ready? Yes, I'm ready. Moscato Spinas, yes! Very aromatic, I loved this one. And you can also drink it as an aperitif. You don't need really any, any um, food with this one. Relaxing in your porch after a whole day of work. Very refreshing. And I can see that uh, being consumed both in the summer and winter. And let's see what we have here. Oh my goodness. This is the winemaker's favorite wine. And I'm so glad that I, I also chose that. Wonderful wine. And as I 
Oh wow, this is Cotifali, Cotifali variety, 60%, Merlot, 20%, and Syrah, 20%. Gorgeous wine, I love it. And that's all for me. Let's, let's start pairing them with, with some food now. How about that, right? Cheers. And now it's my favorite part. The part where we taste the wine, we drink, we actually drink the wine and we pair it with food. Raya has selected for us some special Cretan local food from uh, the most delicious and healthy ingredients. So what, what do we have here, Maria? So as you can see, we have full of Cretan recipes. And, uh, uh, the very well-known uh, Dolmadakia in Crete. Stuffed, stuffed grape leaves. leaves. Grape leaves. And we're going to pair it with? With Moscato spinas. Sips and the and uh, mm. Mm. bites. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Sips and bites. Sips and bites. Mm. You can feel the greasiness mm. and the lemon mm. and all the. This is also very high in acidity, so it breaks all the greasiness from the grape leaves mm. and the. It balances the whole thing in, in your mouth and it's just delicious. It's an explosion in your mouth. Moscato Spinas is like every other Muscat, a very aromatic variety. This specific clone of Muscat is found in the village of Spinas at the island of Crete in Greece. It was cultivated at a 250 meters altitude in central Crete on a sandy soil with pronounced citrus fruit aromas. This wine has high acidity, medium body and medium finish. It has spent four hours pre-fermentation extraction at 10 degrees Celsius, alcoholic fermentation and a five month maturation period in a stainless steel tank. Sell at 10 degrees Celsius and pair with white cheeses such as feta cheese and goat cheese small fried fish, sardines and anchovies, and pasta with pesto sauce. What is the definition of the good life for you? Uh, wine, friends, family. Let's drink to that. Yes, let's drink to that. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is the taste of Crete. Yes. Goat. This recipe is a taste of cream. And this wine. That's amazing. We will continue to sip and eat, but we'll meet you in the next episode of Wine Cellar Stories. Thank you, Maria, for having Thank us. Thank you very much. It was much. a fabulous experience. Thank you very much. It was a great honor for us to have you here in our winery, in our house. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. And cheers to you, wine lovers. Cheers to you. Tria, tia, ven a grafume! Prune. Tria, tia, ven a pame! The problem is that um, it makes you one more. And more, and more, and then you have the egg one, and then you want more wine. Yes, that's exactly. good for sales, right? Yes, <laughs> that's good for sales. You, you can't stop to one bottle. You have to go away. But drink responsibly. Yes, of course. And you? I'm not gonna stop in one bite. And no, just no, no, you know. no. Yeah, <laughs>